Here goes my Kawasaki H2 Ninja 2015 at the house. Took the place of my 400. My 400. Look at my Yamaha moped boo boo. Like this bike. I mean, this moped is so fun. <laughs> Right now I'm using a battery charger because I'm recording with my phone and my battery is low. Like 0% right now. Anyway, do you see it? Do you see it? That's right. The third day. The first day I rode it home. Second day I didn't ride because it was like this rainy. But that's not the reason I didn't ride, but I didn't ride the second day. The third day third day the bike got dropped not by me I let somebody sit on the bike they didn't know how heavy it was when they brought it off the kickstand they fell over to the right side and you can see the mark right there let's go and do it ah, yep that's what happened that scratched right there and the only other damage I found was on my engine guard right there it's only two damages it wasn't bad they didn't drop it they just leaned it over and we couldn't pick it up because it was so heavy it took four of us to lift it <laughs> they were, I wasn't really trying I was too busy laughing because I couldn't believe it it was funny to me nothing serious Live the first bike drop on the third day of ownership. Horrible, right? You can see spider webs building over here. I got a lot of spiders over here always trying to make a new home. If I ride it one day and come back at night and wake up in the morning, it'll be a spider web on the bike somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah, I bought my um, what you call them? rubber socks. All three of them fit, that's right there. But the clearance is so low on this side, you gotta be careful. Well, I can't turn the steering wheel, but you can see between this edge and this windscreen frame holder thing is like 0.1. Oh, whatever. Just way too small. So the sock has to be pulled all the way down. Anyway. Yep. Only owned it for three days and I dropped it. Today is day number... Hmm. I don't even know now. Four or five. Oh no. I got a fingerprint on me. It's gonna be bad. I need to wipe that off. <laughs> I remember hearing something about that. Fingerprint's gonna be bad. Oh yeah, you can see it's raining and it's getting wet and I am not going to clean that off and that at all. I mean, I like the look of the H2, but I'm not a, I'm going to ride it till I destroy it, <laughs> something like that. I ain't trying to keep it party. But, oh look, you can see a spider web right there. You see, let me see. see that little thing dangling right there, yeah? Spider web. Let me get that off. Spiders. I know they got some more webs around here somewhere. Relentless spiders. Never give up. Never give up. Hey. What I was talking about, I forget. Oh. Let me just talk about my first impressions. Coming from the 400, only been driving bikes less than a year. I always watch a lot of videos trying to learn how to ride better and all that stuff. 
and it was probably, according to the majority of people who talk about this kind of stuff, it was a bad idea for me to get this bike. <laughs> but, it's a few people out there who understand, you know, you can have a powerful bike and steer ride responsibly. That's what I do. So, oh yeah, and since um, I don't have a, what it is, one of them, GoPro type cameras, or I don't know how to record with my phone and have a mic placed inside of my helmet connected by Bluetooth so I can catch my voice. I have not ridden the bike in a mode that's faster than rain mode. Basically, I put the bike in rain mode because <laughs> I read on the on the H2 form, they said if you put it in rain mode, it's basically a 300. The bike is a 300cc. And I can tell you that ain't really true. Because I had a 400cc and it was still faster than my 400 in rain mode. And I haven't, I haven't taken the bike out of rain mode since I've had it. It's still in rain mode. But this one is like the fourth or third day. I only drove it twice. Maybe three times. I don't even remember no more. But I haven't even did nothing it's raining right now i'm not afraid to go out in the rain i ride i ride i ride in the rain i don't care especially when i have my 400 i got rain gear that's rain shoes gloves pants and a jacket now i wear every time except for my my shoes i don't know where the shoes if it's raining because the shoes are waterproof it's just not raining i just stick with my tuna shoes because all i do is commute basically i'm a, just a commuter <laughs> I get on the highway every night and then if I can go farther, usually I don't go too much farther. But I ride. I don't take the short route. I go the long way because I want to ride. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. Since I started riding motorcycles, I found it is so fun. I started on riding like that. That's the first bike. But that's not really the first bike, but the first bike I rode was a moped. And it was so fun. I was like, man, I got it. I want to go fast. So I got this one. Then after I got this, I was like, it's fun, but I want more speed. That's when I had to get my license. In Japan, you got to get, a, they got two different licenses. The small bike license, which is 400 cc and under. And I got that first. And then like after that, I went and got the, the big bike license. That's anything over 400 cc. So I got both licenses. Then I got my 400. Well, I got my 400 as I was doing my big bike license. And I rode that, I don't even know how long it's been. I think it's like, I'm almost at a year now, but I'm not, still not at a year. And then, you know, they was talking about this H2 and I was watching all them videos. I learned about them videos and the H2 as I was trying to still learn how to ride, watching bike safety videos and all that kind of stuff. I was like, man, you know what? That H2 sound real nice. But there's no way in the world, since this is the only time they're going to offer this bike, I'd never be able to ride it. And I just want to, everybody was talking about how good it feels. I just want to know how good do it feel. <laughs> I was like, ain't no way in the world nobody going to let me ride the H2. So the only way I'm going to be able to ride it is if I get it myself. Yeah, so I got it. I moved up. And I told them at the dealership, I was like, put it in rain mode. I ain't gonna ride slow so until until I get me one of them GoPro cameras or something. And I want to record my reaction, my first time leader bike ride. I see a lot of those videos, first time leader bike rides. I wanted to record my first reaction. I tried. I had got a Bluetooth a little bluetooth recorder and i tried to use my phone to record video with the bluetooth as a mic but i ain't i, I ain't never figured out how to set that up so that didn't work so my first ride did not get recorded and i don't spend 10 minutes on this video and i ain't said one one thing about my reaction on my first ride yet you know what i'm gonna talk about that in another video <laughs>